Hello students, in today's class we are going to discuss about numerical problems on formation of fibers using singular transformation method. This is the first problem we have. Uh, with the help of singular transformation method, determine the bus admittance matrix fibers for the power system whose oriented graph is shown in figure. Element number and self impedance of the network is shown in per unit are marked on the diagram. Neglect the mutual coupling. This is the diagram we have, network we have. Uh, from this, we have to form the Y bus matrix. First, what we have to do is we have to form the A matrix, matrix A. So, matrix A can be uh, formed using a graph of the network. Graph is already shown here. Okay, so we'll uh, rewrite again. This is the graph. Okay, so this is the first node and this is the second node. This is the second node we have and this is the third node and this is the fourth node and there is a link between 2 and 4, okay, 2 and 4 and first element connected between 1 and 2, okay, second element connected between uh, 1 and 3, third element between 1 and 4, okay, fourth element between 2 and 4, okay. So, no need to assign the direction, it is already oriented graph given, okay, from this we have to form the a matrix A cap. Matrix A cap has element, okay, okay, here uh, column has an element, 1, 2, 3, 4 elements are there, okay, and uh, row has nodes, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it is, 1 is a reference node, it is mentioned in the problem, okay. So, for take first element, first element oriented, it is connected between uh, 1 and 2, okay, 1 and 2, so take it as 1, okay, it is incident between 1 and 2, incident to node 1 and incident to node 2 and it is not incident to node 4, not incident to node uh, 3, so take it as 0, but it is away from 1, so it has to be plus 1 and towards uh, 2, so it has to be minus 1. So take second element here, second element which is uh, between 1 and 3, 1 and 3 and away from 1, so plus 1, uh, towards 3, so it is minus 1. Okay, remaining should be 0 because it is not incident to node 2 and node 4. And third element which is between 1 and 4, 1 and 4, okay, remaining 2 are 0 because it is not incident to node 3 and node 2, uh, but it is away from 1, okay, plus 1 here and towards 4, so it is minus 1. Okay, the fourth element between 2 and 4, 2 and 4, okay, remaining should be 0 because it is not incident to node 1 and node 3, but it is away from 2, so it is plus 1, okay, 2 is 4, so minus 1. Now what we have to do is, uh, this is the element node incidence matrix. From element node incidence matrix, we are going to delete the column corresponding to reference node okay now we get remaining matrix elements comes under bus incidence matrix this is the bus incidence matrix now minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 okay 1 0 minus 1 okay this is the matrix a so, the formation of Y bus using singular transformation method, we have formula Y bus is equal to A transpose Y A. So, we have A. So, A transpose is equal to, okay. So, here transpose of A, we will have column, column we have to take it as row. Okay, second column will be 
second row 0 minus 1 0 0 and third column with it would be third row 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 okay it is a transpose now we have to get matrix y how do we get matrix y we'll see see in problem given in problem given in problem given it is given the first element has impedance of 0.33 second element uh, impedance is 0.1 point j.1 third uh, j.2 fourth j.5 so this is the impedance matrix okay uh, what we want is admittance matrix impedance matrix okay here oh, it is a diagonal matrix okay diagonal matrix only diagonal elements will be there other uh, matrix elements will be zero so th this is z11 z11 is equal to here first element j.33 okay and uh, uh, z1 to 0 okay off diagonal elements will be 0 and uh, uh, here z21 0 z22 z22 to j.1 z22 to j.1 0 0 0 0 off diagonal elements z33 Z33 J.2 okay 0 0 0 0 Z44 J.5 J.5 so this is the diagonal matrix so inverse of Z will be Y so taking inverse it would be easy to take the inverse of uh, diagonal matrix inverse of diagonal matrix it would be uh, inverse of z11 it is minus j3 and inverse of 0 0 0 diagonal elements uh, which has to be inversed okay so it is minus 10 0 0 0 0 uh, minus j5 inverse of uh, j.5 it is minus j5 0 0 0 inverse of j.5 it is minus j2 in this problem we got z diagonal matrix why it is diagonal diagonal matrix because in the problem it is given the given uh, impedance is a self impedance okay in self impedance uh, here z111 z22 z33 z44 are the um, self impedances okay so it will be a diagonal matrix okay and it is also mentioned um, neglecting the mutual coupling when we neglect mutual coupling only the diagonal elements will be uh, there okay and off diagonal elements will be zero so reciprocal of this would be y matrix y now what we have to do is uh, we have to calculate the y bus okay the formula to calculate the y bus using singular transformation method a transpose y a okay so just write as it is it is a a transpose and y matrix y and matrix a okay now what we have to do is we have to multiply a transpose with the y matrix y so a transpose uh, first row you take and uh, uh, y matrix y uh, first column you take okay row has to be multiplied with the column okay first element minus 1 into minus j it would be plus 3j okay 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 1 into 0 0 so uh, first row you take next second column you take okay uh, minus 1 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 1 into 0 0 okay next first row with the third column minus 1 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 0 into minus j5 it is 0 1 into 0 0 okay now first row with the fourth column okay minus 1 into 0 0 um, 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 1 into minus 2j it is minus 2j only 
okay now you take second row and first column second row we have a first element 0 0 into 3j it will be 0 plus minus 1 into 0 it would be 0 uh, 0 into 0 0 and 0 into 0 0 okay now you take second row and second uh, column okay 0 into 0 0 minus 1 into minus 10 it would be plus 10 j okay 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 now uh, second row and third column 0 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 0 into minus j5 0 0 into 0 0 now take th second row with the uh, third fourth column 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 minus 1 into 2j it is plus 2j okay plus 2j now take third row and first column okay 0 into 3j 0 okay 0 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 it is 0 next uh, second uh, third row and second column okay 0 into 0 0 0 into minus 10 j 0 minus 1 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 it, it would be 0 next first third uh, row and third column 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 minus 1 into uh, minus 5 j it is plus 5 j minus 1 into 0 0 so it would be plus 5 j plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 it would be plus 5 j only now last row and last column 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 uh, minus 1 into 0 0 minus 1 into minus uh, j it is plus 2 j ok plus 2 j ok let me repeat here uh, second row and last column ok it would be 0 only because 0 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 0 into minus 2j it is 0 ok so and a right as it is minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 ok so this matrix becomes plus 3j 0 0 minus 2j 0 plus 10j 0 0 0 0 5j 2j ok now we have a tra a 1 0 0 uh, 0 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 now what we have to do is we have to multiply these two take first uh, row and first column okay uh, 3j into minus 1 okay it is uh, minus 3j 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 minus 2j into 1 it would be minus 2j so 3j plus minus so, sorry minus 3j uh, plus minus 2j it is minus 5j ok next take first row and second column uh, 3j into 0 0 0 into minus 1 0 0 into 0 0 and minus 2j into 0 0 ok next first row and third column ok 3j into 0 0 0 into 0 0 0 into minus 1 0 minus 2j into minus 1 it is plus 2j ok next 
second row and first column 0 into minus 1 0 10 j into 0 0 0 into 0 0 0 into 1 0 ok. So, adding all those it would be 0 only for second row and second column ok and uh, 0 into 0 0 10 j into minus uh, 1 it is minus 10 j 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0. So, minus 10 j next 0 into 0 0 10 j into 0 0 0 into minus 1 0 0 into minus 1 0 it is 0 ok. So, uh, take third row and first column 0 into minus 1 0 0 into 0 0 5 j into 0 0 2 j into 1 it is plus 2 j ok 0 into 0 0 0 into minus 1 it is 0 5 j into 0 0 2 j into 0 0 ok and uh, third row and third column 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 uh, 5 j into minus 1 uh, it is minus 5 j plus 2 j into minus 1 it is minus 2 j total it is minus 7 j 7 j this is the matrix y bus ok this is the y bus matrix.